So on this problem, we have an equation. And remember, I made a big deal about the difference between an equation and an expression. When you have an equation that involves algebraic fractions like this, you want to clear the fractions out. So you need to find out what is the common denominator and then multiply both sides by that. And you're going to get rid of fractions. Now, the first thing to notice is what x can't be. And we know that here, this says x can't be negative 4. Because if x is negative 4, I have a 0 in the denominator. And this one says x can't be positive 4 because if I have that, you get 0 in the denominator. This one, well, x squared minus 16, negative 4 and 4 would work there as well. And if you notice, this is just x minus 4, x plus 4. x squared minus 16, right? That's the difference of two squares. So if we wanted to, and I'm going to move this negative up here, because it's negative up there, because it's going to make more sense. So we're going to have negative 3 times x plus 4 plus 7 times, over x minus 4 equals negative 5x plus 4 all over x minus 4, x plus 4. Okay, and so what you need to do is you need to multiply by the common denominator. Well, how many x plus 4s do you have? You just got 1 in each one of those, so only 1x plus 4 is in your common denominator, and 1x minus 4. So finding the common denominator is pretty easy on this problem. And we're going to multiply the whole thing by that common denominator. So by x plus 4, x minus 4. Okay, so when I multiply the first term by that, I'm going to cancel out the x plus 4s. So that's going to leave me with a negative 3 times x minus 4. When I look at this term, I'm canceling out the neg x minus 4, so it's going to leave me with 7 times x plus 4, because I didn't cancel out the x plus 4. And then when I look at this last term, well, they, it's going to cancel out both of them. And so we're going to have just equals negative 5x plus 4. Do the distributive property, you get negative 3x plus 12 plus 7x plus 28 equals negative 5x plus 4. Simplify this left side, you're going to get what? 4x plus 40 equals negative 5x plus 4. Now it's an easy solve. Just get all the x's on one side. So add 5x to both sides. So that gives us 9x plus 40 equals 4. So then you're going to subtract 40 from both sides. So you're going to get 9x equals negative 36. Negative 4, negative 36. Negative 36. Divide both sides by 9. And you get x equals negative 4. Now, I told you at the beginning that x equals negative 4 gave us a problem, and so that can't be our answer. So the actual answer to this problem is no solution. There are no possible solutions to this problem because when we f went through and did it, we got negative 4, and there are no other answers, and so you have no solution to this problem.